Um, I think I think she's been really impressive since she's taken over the captaincy of Australia, and um, for somebody so young, has done a fantastic job, and um, both in her leadership and also ability to score runs consistently. Um, so yeah, she's a, a fantastic player, and and will be a great asset to the Surrey Stars. Um, she's pretty good. Um, I was lucky enough to play in a, a WBBL team with her, um, and you know she led the team really well and um, I guess as a captain she's got a lot of experience and as a batter so um, it's really good to have her on board to kind of learn, off, learn from her and um, gain a bit more experience. It's the conversion rate that's crazy with, with Meg isn't it as well, isn't it the, is her, her, she's got a conversion rate of something like 80% is that right from from, from 50s to, to, to centuries when she, she's yeah. one of those guys when she, when she, when she gets in she, she, she goes big. Yeah I think um, what I've noticed about her most is it's very mental for her um, in her game and um, I guess she's very settled in her mind as to what she can do and it just shows on the pitch. And what sort of, you know, what, what's it going to be like, you, you're, you're going to be captaining her this time but also in a team that mixes international players like yourself and, and, and Laura and, and Tammy and, and Meg and you know, called, but, you know, some of the younger Surrey girls, what, what, how much benefit do you think some of those younger Surrey girls are going to have from, from having someone like um, someone like Meg around and yourself obviously to, to look up to? It's brilliant to have, um, I guess, a couple of spaces for younger girls coming through. Um, for them to learn off international players is, is, I guess, second to none in terms of experience and hopefully we can kind of get them to develop um, through the Surrey Stars and become more settled players as well.